Okay, hi folks. Um, after a nice intensive workout, it's always good to stretch off. Um, so I've got quite a few stretches, just over 10 minutes, probably about 12, 13. I don't know, it might add some variations in and some different things as I go along. Um, I've got the core of what I do written down, so um, we'll work off of that. Um, so starting off a nice stretch through the lunges. Um, so we're just going to in a stand position and we're just going to stretch down. Um, if you want to put your knee on the floor, you can do. Um, make sure you don't overextend the knee in front of your heel. It should be in line or just behind. And then you really want to sink that hip into that stretch. If you can, you can keep your knee off the ground. If not, feel free to keep it there. Put the timer away. You should really be doing this for 30 seconds. Otherwise, I'm not going to know how long we're doing it for. Okay, come up, we're going to go on to the other side, I'll start the timer from there. Really sink into that stretch. Nice strong stretches on the hips, see? Two, one, and relax. Come into a standing position. Just gonna do the standing split. Standing as in don't bend over. That will come in a moment. Gonna have to turn side on. As we go through, just gradually let the legs slide out. Okay, and go into a fold. Should be able to let your legs slip out a bit further. Put your hands on the ground for support. Start to bring the feet together, keeping your hands on the floor as much as you can. If you need to bring them on your ankles. We're just going to, going to go into a full fold. You can bend the knees a little bit. And then you just want to roll up slowly. It takes about five seconds to roll up into a standing position. Okay, from there, just going to do some shoulder rolls. Bring the shoulders up and forwards, down and back. Circulator movement around the neck and the shoulders, really loosen up the arms, shoulders and neck. Okay, we're going to go into some head rolls. Turn the head to one side, slowly round one way. You can either stop at one shoulder and just go between each shoulder, back and forth. You want to go around in a circle, you'll probably feel some cracking at the back of the neck. Just means you don't do this enough. And stop and go the other way. Really take those deep breaths. Take the time to do it properly. Nice and relaxed. Keep going. Okay, stop the head rolls. Just grab your right arm, pull it across the left. A nice stretch in the shoulder. And then grab the left. 
pull it across the right. Then bring the right arm up, push it down. I always find my big head gets in the way of this one. So if you can reach it, grab up from behind, interlock the fingers and pull it down. Just release, slowly bring it round. Do the same with the other side, so push the left back. If you prefer, interlock the fingers. And release. Push forward with the hands, a nice stretch across the back far forwards as you can. Then interlock the hands behind, just grab palms facing together, and push out. Try and bring your palms together, and from there we're just going to go into a fold. So if you want, you can do half fold if you can, and bend the knees a little bit and then just bring it all the way over. Try and bring your arms over your head, get a nice stretch in the shoulders. Keep going with that one. From there, release the hands, bring them down in front of you, bring the feet together, and we're just gonna do a nice full fold and then slowly roll up again. Going to go into the splits. Again, standing splits, so try not to fold over. Just going to do this for a little bit longer than the first time. Should be able to push out a little bit further. Should be nice and warm after one of my amazing hip sessions. It's not funny. And then slowly go into a fold. Placing your hands in front. Ideally, if you're more flexible than me, you should be able to get into the splits. And from there, we're just going to put our hands behind us, stretch through. You should have a nice stretch just on the inside of the legs. And then from there, Pull your weight onto the hands and come down into a sitting position. Legs out in front, nice and straight. Nice straight back. Going to lift up and just stretch down to the toes. If you can't grab the toes, grab the shins or the ankles. Don't grab the feet, grab the big toes. Gently try and pull yourself into it. Deep breath in as you exhale, just pull yourself down a little bit more. And then slowly come up, keeping your back straight. Bend the left leg in. And again, we're gonna stretch up and come down to the right. Should find it a little bit easier to stretch with one leg. As opposed, to both, as opposed to both legs out. Close the eyes, concentrate on your breathing. Stretch up, nice straight back. Swap legs over. Stretch up and down. Usually find one side's easier than the other. Concentrate on your breathing, close your eyes, nice and relaxed.
lengthen and come up. Both legs out again, stretch up and then come down. Grab the toes, should be able to stretch a little bit further, should find it a little bit easier than last time. Concentrate on your breathing, nice and relaxed. Inhale, as you exhale, try and stretch a little bit further. And relax. Bring the soles in together. Knees out, if you can. Turn out the soles or elbows onto, the, uh, onto your knees and push out. If you've got someone to help you, they can come behind you and just push down on the knees if you want to, or else place your hand by your bum, hands by either side of your bum, and if you lift up, you should feel your legs naturally be able to push out a bit further. And then what you can do is just push yourself towards your feet. go on to our backs. Might need a little bit of space for this one. I don't know whether I've got enough space, so I'm going to shuffle left and right in between. Onto your backs. Knees up to your body, then we're just going to do a twist. Arms out to your side. We're going to let our legs fall down to the left hand side. Try and keep your feet on the ground. Just going to look over, either looking straight up or over to your right hand. Relax into it. And then come back up. And you want to fall over to the other side. I'm going to have to shuffle. Fall over to the other side, so down to the right hand side. Arms out straight, looking over to the left. time we're going to do it with an extension. Again, I haven't got enough room. Over to the left, nice and relaxed. And if you can, extend your feet out so you've got nice straight feet. Don't know if you can see that. Oh, I don't know what I can do. side, let your legs fall out and then extend. Nice straight legs out to the other side if you can grab them with your hands. And bend them in, bring them up. Back up to sit him. So, bring the left leg underneath you, right leg goes over the top into this position, so left leg under, right leg over, we're going to bring the left arm up, bring it down, stretch the right arm around, and we're just going to push on that left arm, so you're pushing the left leg, uh, right leg inwards, and you're going to stretch around. If you can grab your foot, do so.
and we're going to go into a counter stretch. So release the hand, keep your legs in the same position, just come round and just counter stretch. And relax, swap feet over. So right leg goes under, left leg goes over, stretch up, hand comes down, left arm to be uh, placed behind you, and looking over your left shoulder. Again, one side's always gonna be easier. If you can, grab your feet. I cannot on this side. And relax, counter stretch to leave the legs in position. Go back the other way. And relax. Okay, last two stretches. Uh, last stretch. We'll make this the last one. It's a nice good one. So we're gonna keep um, Left leg bent in front of us and we're going to stretch the right leg out behind. We're going to try and get a bum on the floor, nice as straight as you can behind. Then gradually over the 30 seconds of stretching, you don't have to, but we're just going to see if we can come down into a laying position as it eases on the stretch and becomes easier. Down onto the elbows. Stretch out a little bit in front. Finishing with your head on the ground, stretching right out ahead of you. slowly walk it in. Swap around, right leg bent in front, left leg straight out behind. A nice stretch for the hip flexors as well this one. Make it easy for you to kick people in the head. Slowly coming down to the elbows. Stretching forward a little bit, chest onto the knee, head onto the ground, stretching forward. And then coming back up nice and slowly. There we have it. We'll finish up there. Nice good stretch off, a nice one to finish on after you've done good exercise and got your blood uh, pumping through the body. Makes it a lot easier to um, flex up and stretch out. Thanks very much for joining me. See you again soon. Bye. Loving the tunes. Got a bit hectic at a couple of points. <laughs>